Uh, the diagnostic tests are varied, uh, skin test for milk allergy is not essential, uh, the radio allergy sorbent or rash tests on the blood are non-specific, sometimes you get a positive result and many times clinically we may decide to treat even if the baby uh, does not have positive signs. A stool test for lactose for example uh, reducing sugar in the stool uh, may not be conclusive and lactose intolerance diagnosis does not rule out milk protein allergy coexisting. So, if you think of lactose intolerance and the baby does not improve, we start thinking of milk allergy overlapping as well. If the mother is on exclusive uh, breastfeed, the baby is on exclusive breastfeeding, we try to eliminate milk protein from the mother's diet totally and this would mean not taking uh, any milk products for coffee, tea, cheese, uh, yogurt, uh, other uh, dairy containing food ghee for example. So, you should look into the components of any uh, foods you eat and try to remove milk containing proteins, even small ingestion sometimes uh, brings it back up again. So, it takes 10 to 14 days after the elimination starts for the baby to settle down. So, you may need some symptomatic treatment in the initial phases.